In this video, we will show you how to fit your polytunnel cover using the trenching method. We also have videos that show you how to fit your polytunnel cover to an aluminium or timber rail. Achieving a tight fit on your polythene cover will result in a better performing polytunnel. Here are the parts you'll need. You will be required to dig a trench around the outside of your polytunnel framework. Digging needs to start 10 centimeters away from the foundation tubes, and the edge should be as straight and tidy as possible, as your cover will locate against this side. It is important that your trench is 30 centimeters wide and to a minimum depth of 40 centimeters, as the weight of the eventual backfill keeps your polytunnel anchored to the ground. We will now prepare the framework to be covered. The polytunnel cover is secured around the door frame by trapping it between a rebate baton and a sheeting baton. Battens are 19mm by 38mm timber and come in 1.8m lengths and you will be required to cut them to size. The battens are secured in place using nails. We will first fit the rebate baton around the door frame. It is fitted on the outer edge of the frame. Start by positioning a batten horizontally across the doorframe lintel. Make one end flush with the outer edge of the doorframe post and make a mark on the batten where it meets the outside edge of the opposite doorframe post. Cut the piece to size. We need to ensure that when fitted, the sheeting batten doesn't protrude the inner edge of the door post. We recommend using a spare piece of batten as a spacer. Reposition the rebate batten on the doorframe lintel. Position the spacing baton so it is flush with the inner edge of the doorframe lintel. Once in position, secure the rebate baton to the doorframe lintel with nails. The rebate baton should overhang the outer edge of the doorframe lintel by approximately 5mm. Now install the rebate battens down the doorpost. Position the rebate baton and use the spacing baton to ensure it is in the correct position and secure in place with nails. Fit the rebate baton to the opposite door frame post in the same way and repeat this entire process on the opposite end of your polytunnel. Measure the length of batten that will be required to fit in between the inner edges of the door post and cut a piece of batten 1cm short of this measurement to allow for clearance. Keep these close to hand. You have now completed all of the preparation and are ready to start fitting your polytunnel cover. Anti-hotspot tape should have been applied to all hoops before commencing the covering operation. Ensure you give yourself enough time to complete fitting your cover. This is not an operation to undertake alone. We also suggest that this is done on a calm day, as heavy wind and rain will hinder the process. Only begin fitting your polytunnel cover when you are confident that it can be completed without unnecessary interruptions. Although the polythene is very strong and can withstand a lot of abuse, pulling and stretching the cover can sometimes leave finger marks. To avoid this spoiling your polythene cover, try to grip and pull the polythene on the outer edges, somewhere that later will be trimmed or buried into the ground. Check the ground for sharp objects stones, sticks, etc. which may damage the polythene cover. If you have enough room, roll the cover out down the length of your polytunnel. Each face of the polythene sheet is identical. There is not a right or wrong side when choosing which face goes on the inside or the outside of the structure. Loosen the folds of the polythene cover. With one person at each end holding a corner, pull the cover taut and begin to slide the polytunnel cover over the hoops. From the corner of the polytunnel structure, walk across the width to the corner hoop. The cover should slide up and over the hoops smoothly. If you are short on space or have a very long polytunnel, you can roll the polythene out on top of the polytunnel from one end to the other. You can then unfurl the polythene cover. Centralize the polytunnel cover along both the length and width of the polytunnel. The cover should reach approximately halfway down the door frames. Don't expect the polythene to reach the ground at the door ends. With the polytunnel cover loosely in position, it is time to start securing it into place. At one end, trap the polytunnel cover under the sheeting baton on the doorframe lintel and secure the 15cm central section, approximately three nails. 
do not nail the entire length of the baton to the frame at this stage. Now go to the opposite end of your polytunnel. Pull the cover tight along the length. You will need to get as much tension on the cover as possible. A good approach is to pull the cover down and swing into the polytunnel using your full body weight, whilst your assistant positions the second prepared baton and secures the 15cm central section, approximately 3 nails. We will now fix the polytunnel cover down the length. Simply lay the polytunnel cover in the trench. It is a good idea to perforate a few holes through the cover in the trench as this will allow the rainwater to drain away. Working from the centre to both ends, have one person use their foot to apply tension and the other person to backfill the trench, packing the soil down as you go. Repeat this on the opposite side of your polytunnel. More downward force can be applied to gain extra tension. To fit the two ends of the cover, cut the polythene parallel with the end hoop. This frees the polythene at the corner, allowing pleating and fitting to the door frame post. Carefully pull the top door baton slightly away from the door frame lintel. Pull down on the polythene and begin to tuck the polythene behind the baton. Secure a few nails at a time. Work from the center to both sides until the door frame lintel baton is fully secure. We will now secure the polythene cover to the door posts. You are looking to achieve consistent pleats. We recommend you do a dry run to gauge the amount of pleats for an even distribution. The pleats start at the centre and dissipate as you reach the straight side of the polytunnel hoop. Position a baton down one of the door posts and hammer the first two or three nails in. You will continue to pleat the polythene down the sides. Pull the cover as tight as you can and secure a couple of nails at a time. Keep working down the door post. Once the cover is secure to both door posts, you can bury the polythene from the corner hoop to the door post into the ground. Using the same method as earlier, one person will push down with their foot whilst another person backfills the hole with soil. Repeat this process for the door on the opposite end of the polytunnel. Finally, trim off the excess polythene around the door frame and around the perimeter of the trench. You have now completed the process of covering your polytunnel. You can find more videos to help you build your polytunnel and construct.firsttunnels.co.uk. We also have a construction helpline if you require any further assistance.